Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BSV TV. I'm your host, Sir Toshi, and on this show, we'll be defending the one and only, truly genuine Bitcoin. The Bitcoin that Satoshi Nakamoto designed in his white paper as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system for the world. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. So all the statements that you hear on this show are opinion and must only ever be taken as opinion. They are never to be taken as any form of advice, family, financial, sexual or otherwise. And on that note, let's sit back, relax, have some fun and enjoy the show. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and set your own fee on Streamanity. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wasn't asked why I'm convinced. Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit. He signed in my presence uh, the private, using the private key from block one, block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. At Enchain, we've just funded a number of universities doing, so far, a test up to one gigabyte because it validates what we've already done independently. We've tested up to 380 gigabyte blocks. We have tested 1 million transactions a second and transaction sizes up to 20 megabytes. Super complex scripts, basically ones that can run operating systems. That's basically all of global commerce times about 50. On top of that, we can have complex scripts. On top of that, we can scale each of those transactions 1,000 times, which effectively means about a billion transactions per second, which means we can then have all derivatives, all complex trades. That means high frequency trading. It means everything that happens globally. Is the market that effectively BSV is going for, is that global e-commerce, which is currently valued at $29 trillion? No, that's too small. Buy and sell Bitcoin instantly at bsvgravity.com. And you can now book and pay for your winter holiday at skibsv.com. Good afternoon, everyone. Just checking all the statistics. It looks like we are running well. Yes, indeed, we are on fire. Good afternoon, everybody. I can see uh, Maria Torvad in the house, and I use BSV. <laughs> That's a name I haven't seen in a long time. Cool, not since uh, not since the old uh, uh, BSV channel days. Thanks all for joining. Much as gracias. I do appreciate everybody tuning in. You know, even if you're just one person, that's one person that is listening. <laughs> uh, let's jump straight into the uh, the health of the network, the crypto weather forecast, whatever you want to, uh, whatever you want to call it. I have to confess, I did look at this earlier, and uh, I think there's something going on. Um, and what, as we would expect, but um, yeah, just just hear me out when we get through there. So uh, let's just run through these quickly. We're kind of like, why would these absolutely humongous miners start mining on Bitcoin when it is currently? So have a look at this. Fourteen point seven percent more profitable to mine on Coolcoin. Like, why would they be there? I, and again, I'm just clutching at straws here. I'm not saying this is like what's going on, but personally, I think this is a sign of commitment. That's what I think. I think it's a gesture because there is absolutely no point in them mining such a small amount of such a small amount of hash rate for virtually almost like no reward. Um, there's just there's just no point. On that note, let's just have a quick look at the prices. There we go. So this was it. Check it out. Would you believe it? On this day, which was yesterday, uh, Roger Ver did make his first post on Twitch. When I was looking at the incidents of 9-11 uh, you know, and stuff like that, and when I was thinking about the um, documentary I saw on, on central banks, it just made me realize that there is someone there is always someone that makes the decision inside a centralized organization. There is a head of a board, there's chairman of the board, there's you know CEOs, there is always a structure of power inside government that we never get to see because they say, oh, like the government decided this and the corporation decided that. It's a bit like people saying, oh, you know, uh, artificial intelligence decided that. No, artificial intelligence didn't decide that. 
artificial intelligence was programmed to make that decision and someone programmed it to discriminate against other people. And uh, so now, because everything is going to be on chain, in the future, any despicable, heinous decisions that are made by the people in power are going to be made on chain and they will be traceable and they will be accountable for their decisions. Because there won't be any of this, oh, we can't show you these documents. Oh, that's going to be redacted. Oh, uh, th this person, when they made the decision, that now no longer wants to be uh, named and shamed. Well, tough. Everything is going to be on chain. Which means that now nobody is going to be making really selfish, stupid, dangerous decisions anymore. Because people are, you know, uh, that financially benefit themselves. Because we're all going to see what they've done. This one out. So uh, on this post, I did put here, uh, EU states call for cryptocurrency curbs. Finance ministers of the five EU member states said in a joint statement on Friday that stable coins should not be allowed to operate until legal, regulatory and oversight challenges have been addressed. Here we go. That is going to go up on the screen while we do uh, ding dong merrily on high. Uh, all right, well, that'll do for today. Right, folks, as ever, thank you very much for listening and be aware, take care, stay safe out there, joy given. Catch everybody soon. See you later. Same time tomorrow. <laughs> buy bsv.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and watch the full episode on Streamanity. www.streamanity.com forward slash 8084 at moneybutton.com